Good morning viewers. Hello and welcome to the Morning News show where we bring you the latest headlines and insightful stories to kickstart your day. I'm Kuhina Sharma and you are watching CNN News 18. First up, on top of this bulletin, we're tracking some updates from Maharashtra. We're ahead of the Maharashtra Assembly polls. Now the ticket tussle within the INDIA block continues. Now in the latest, Samajwadi Party leader and MLA Abu Azmi have now jumped into the seat-sharing tussle within the Mahavikas Aghari, threatening to field candidates on 25 seats if the opposition alliance fails to keep aside five seats specifically for his party's candidates. Now, amid the entire tussle over seats, INDIA bloc parties will continue to release candidates' list. Now, the Sharad Pawar faction of the NCP has released already its second list of 22 candidates for the upcoming Maharashtra Assembly polls. NCP has said that there will be no meetings anymore and all discussions are now being held on the phone. Now, BJP, on the other hand, has mocked opposition disunity, saying that in the INDI bloc, no one thinks about the allies and is only concerned with the selfish political interests. हमारी बात कल हुई थी पावर साहब से उन्होंने कहा था कि आज हम लोग तय कर लेंगे बुलाएंगे आपको लेकिन आज पूरे दिन कोई फोन नहीं आया कुछ बात नहीं हुई और जो जो सीटें मैं मांग रहा था वो सीटें धीरे धीरे कहीं ना कहीं अनाउंस की जा रही हैं मुझे लगता है कि शायद जो पहले जिस तरह से दो दो टर्म में धोखा हुआ है शायद इस बार भी उन लोगों की ऐसी नीयत होगी कि समाजवादी पार्टी को सीटें न दी जाएं मैं नहीं चाहता हूं कि महाविकास आघाड़ी टूटे अब नहीं मानेंगे तो मरता क्या नहीं करता फिर हमको पार्टी की तरफ से इलेक्शन लड़ना पड़ेगा और मैं अब तय करके मैं सीट अपना ए बी फार्म बांट दूंगा फिर आगे अल्लाह मालिक मेरी बात अगले बाद से हुई है उन्होंने कहा कि आपको पूरी अथॉरिटी यहाँ पर कांग्रेस की तरह नहीं है कि कांग्रेस से बड़े बड़े लीडर यहाँ पे जो मुख्यमंत्री रह चुके हैं बड़े बड़े पोस्ट रह चुके हैं सरकार चला चुके हैं दो ही दिन बाकी है रुकना क्या ऐसी दो दिन फैसला मैं कल परसों कर लूंगा समाजवादी पार्टी जिसने कांग्रेस पार्टी को उत्तर प्रदेश में कहीं का नहीं छोड़ा एपिक बेजती कर दी अब महाराष्ट्र में भी समाजवादी पार्टी अपने असली रंग में उतर आई है जिस प्रकार से अबू आजमी ने कुछ दिन पहले एक भाषण में धमकी दी थी एक समुदाय को परंतु अब अबू आजमी अपने ही अलायंस पार्टनर को धमकी दे रहे हैं राजनीतिक धमकी राजनीतिक पिस्तौल एक प्रकार से उन्होंने एमवीए के माथे पर तान दी समाजवादी पार्टी का रौब कांग्रेस को उत्तर प्रदेश में तो कुछ नहीं दिया और महाराष्ट्र में भी किस प्रकार से डिमांड किया जा रहा है ये एमवीए का मतलब ही है महाविभाजन अघाड़ी महाविचित्र अघाड़ी महाविनाश अघाड़ी अभी सिक्सटी उम्मीदवारों का नाम मैंने घोषित किया 67 के 67 चुन के कैसे आते हैं वो देखने का हमारा फर्ज है हम सारी जगह पे जीतेंगे नहीं अभी क्या है अभी कोई मीटिंग नहीं होने वाली फोन पे काफी लेन देन चल रही है फोन पे ये सीट हम वो सीट हम उसका डिस्कशन हुआ है और उस हिसाब से आप देखेंगे और भी सीटें जाहिर हो जाएगी well, joining us on the broadcast is our colleague Mayuresh who will get us a better perspective in the entire situation. A very good morning, Mayuresh. Tensions continue to escalate within the INDI block. But how is the ongoing seat-sharing conflict impacting the entire unity and strategy of the INDI block as they are now actually preparing for the Maharashtra Assembly polls? Absolutely, sir. <clears throat> it's few days remaining to uh, file the nomination and still ABA has not come in front to tell entire uh, the seat sharing formula because last MVA uh, uh, leaders have told that 85 85 each they are going to contest or they have agreed and the uh, rest of the seats are still in negotiation because they have to leave uh, somewhere around 10 to 18 seats to smaller parties also that's what we heard from Abu Azmi who said that I need five seats and I am demanding five seats because I have already declared those five seats so uh, the smaller parties are also mounting pressure on uh, India land to announce their seat sharing formula and accommodate them. But whereas on the other hand, if we see that uh, the Mahayuti uh, Alliance, they are also facing a lot of trouble because they have, all, though they have uh, declared their list even uh, before the Mahavika Sakhari, but they have also not come up with a strong formula or a clear formula. So there is also, uh, there are uh, negotiations happening underway and the meetings, uh, hectic meetings are taking place. Yesterday we got to know the Maharashtra CM. Uh, Varsha residence was flooded with uh, the meetings and a lot of people poured down there uh, to discuss the seat sharing issue. So, uh, if we see the uh, bigger picture in Maharashtra, that both the alliances, both the major alliances have not declared their uh, final seat sharing uh, formula and both are struggling basically to uh, get their alliance partner on the same page. 
Right, Mayuresh, uh, with the struggle ongoing in terms of the seat sharing on NRIM, are there any signs of potential compromise among the parties in the INDI bloc or uh, are we looking at a rift deepening as the elections are approaching near? Uh, see, uh, when we spoke with the India Alliance uh, partners, Alliance partners, they clearly said that we are trying our level best to negotiate the things and convince our uh, smaller parties as well as the bigger, uh, as well as the major stakeholders. So they are uh, they are confident that there will not be any conflict which will happen. We'll try to accommodate everyone uh, who are with us. So it would be interesting to see that uh, though the Abu Azmi has clearly said that I have announced five seats and I want those five seats. But the Mahavika Sagadi leaders were uh, somewhere of this opinion that Abu Azmi's uh, Samajwadi party has strength of two. And uh, it would be interesting to see that how much uh, more seats they will give to Samajwadi party as well as to the other alliance partners. Because as, as we said, that 10 to 18 seats uh, they were supposed to leave for their uh, smaller parties. Uh, but now it would be interesting to see because the tussle is between the Mahavika Sagadi major stakeholders, uh, especially between Shiv Sena and Congress to uh, have the lion's share. So it would be interesting to see when they finally announce their final uh, seat sharing formula for this uh, uh, state assembly elections. Right, Mayuresh. I'll request you to stay with us on broadcast as this is a developing story and we're getting a yet another breaking input which is also relevant to Maharashtra assembly elections. Now, amid the seat sharing tussle in INDIA block, Congress has now announced its third list of 16 candidates for the upcoming Maharashtra Assembly elections on Saturday. This follows the release of its first list, which included 48 candidates and a second list of 23 candidates earlier. Now, with this latest announcement, Congress has now revealed a total of 87 candidates. Now, Mayuresh continues to stay with us on the broadcast. Mayuresh, how does uh, the release of Congress's third list of candidates actually impact the ongoing seat sharing negotiations within the IA? NDA block, especially when um, SP is already threatening to go solo if five crucial seats are not provided to them. See, uh, if you remember in last press conference, Mahavika Sadhari leaders have said that 85 each seats we have agreed on. But now uh, it's been more than uh, four to five days for that particular press conference. And uh, we uh, we feel that uh, the negotiations have uh, gone ahead because after that there is no official word the Mahavika Sagadi leaders have had. So that's why 87 uh, is the number which the Congress have revealed. And if you remember that uh, two days back even Shiv Sena came up with the second list, uh, even NCP came up with the second list. So uh, the interesting fact is that they are not telling or revealing their numbers uh, or the final seat sharing agreement or the formula. But yes, they are uh, basically releasing their list one by one. So. Right. Uh, it would be interesting to see that how they are going to accommodate the smaller parties because as we were discussing 10 to 18 seats they were saying but in such scenario they have not basically said that how many how many seats they are going to uh, leave for uh, Samajwadi party especially and Samajwadi party is also alleging that for not a single meeting they have got invited from the Mahavika Sagadi. So that's why they are also miffed that uh, uh, Mahavika Sagadi is not giving them any clarity and right. uh, hence uh, Abu Azmi has declared his five seats and he is adamant on his standard, those five seats at least should be given, otherwise uh, I will contest uh, 20 more seats. Right, Mayuresh, thank you so much for bringing all those details like you rightly pointed out. It will be interesting to watch how might the continuing announcements coming in from Congress affect the strategy of other parties in the INDI bloc as they finalize their own candidates list. But let's take a look at some of the political reactions that we've been getting on this report.